Hey everybody, it's Sleeve in South Jersey, and of course you know what to do before we get this party started. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Let me know that you subscribe by comment below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Alright, this is only the second time in the history of our supermarket checkouts that I approach a shop right that is not a Zaley supermarket. Uh, this is a village supermarket. We're in Hamilton. Um, uh, about a 30 minute drive from where I live, give or take. Um, uh, at any rate, this is a village shop right owned by the Sumas family. Nick Perry Sumas in 1937, Greek immigrants uh, um, uh, started their first village market. One decade later, they became one of the first families to join Wakefern Food Cooperative or shop right as we know it now. And uh, their family has grown along with their supermarkets. Now they own over 30 supermarkets between New Jersey, New York, and even Maryland. And uh, we're going to walk in there, check it out, and see what we can see. Shall we? And as we uh, walk up here to the front of the shop, it looks very nice, very modern looking. Um, this was originally built as a shop, right? There was actually an A&P, later Super Fresh, at the opposite end, where there's a liquor store and an auto parts store now. In fact, the sign for the uh, um, shopping center is that funny oval that A&P used. The uh, Super Fresh moved across the street and then uh, went out of business uh, some time ago, and is now a, uh, a gym, I think a Planet Fitness. But at any rate, uh, as we walk in, uh, we'll see it uh, seems to have a recent uh, remodel. It looks uh, very fresh and new. I came here on a Saturday. Usually it's uh, the only day I have the film content. And so it was kind of busy. And it was right before the 4th of July. I actually uh, did all my uh, shopping here. Um, you see the uh, the older ShopRite sign right there. Again, Village Supermarkets has been with ShopRite Wakefern from the very beginning, so naturally they're going to have uh, the older sign there. And we're in the uh, very modern-looking produce uh, section. You get the bakery to the side. You got deli off to the back in there. Actually, to be honest with you, this area right here kind of reminds me of uh, some of uh, Safeway's new decor um, some of the other um, uh, more uh, modern decor that's coming out some of these uh, um, uh, bigger um, national chain supermarkets of course uh, hard to hard to believe this is uh, a shop right when you walk in here it's really really nice and how about that over there? Let me uh, kind of pivot to the left a bit here. Yep, got a little bit of uh, neon. And over there, so that's where the bathrooms are. Um, uh, again, looking at the uh, aisle markers. Again, reminds me of uh, what Albertsons and Safeway are doing with their uh, um, some of their stores. In fact. I intend to uh, take you guys to an Acme that has uh, a, a recent remodel, but not quality built. Actually, there's a couple of Acme's I want to take you to, but they're um, in the pipeline for the future, guys. Same about getting some more Hot Wheels cars. I mean, that's how I say the cool uncle, but uh, it's kind of offense should I get them or not. So, let's see, nah, I decided against that one. Plus, I probably already have that same one. Would you believe I have, like, two or three big bags full of unopened Hot Wheels cars? <laughs> yeah, that's how I stay the, the cool uncle. Trust me, uh, they come out every now and then. So, we're coming up towards the, the pharmacy. Now, some shop rights, um, the Rabbit's shop rights, actually, I've noticed they've... Uh, Close down their um, pharmacies, but uh, 
Um, Zaley's Village, most of them still have their pharmacies now. The customer service sign here looked really modern, really neat looking. In fact, the whole front end really looked nice. Um, if that wasn't a recent remodel, it was very close. I mean, seriously. Like the uh, the hot foods uh, there by the register in case, you know, impulse buy. And I also like the uh, interesting... Uh, tile floor design they really uh, went all out on this store you also got pictures of uh, past village supermarkets what have you and they really do a good job with this place like the floral department look pretty cool and over there looks like they're they're uh well shop right from home or now order pick up deliver is what shop right calls it it's kind of like the uh Acme, Albertson, Safeway, um, uh, um, drive up and go kind of thing is. And uh, again, you know, the decor here is really nice looking. I mean, it's modern and uh, it really fits the store quite well. But we're going to come along here, uh, we're in the dairy section right now, actually. We're going to come up uh, to a spot here in the dairy section that <laughs> I think is kind of goofy, but it, you know, it might actually uh, um, work here. The uh, we got here where it says the milk store. The font for the words the store, similar to uh, Zaley's and some of their supermarkets like uh, Lawnside and uh, um, Choose Landing, but using plastic milk bottles to... Uh, Spell out the word milk. It's kind of weird, but <laughs> actually, it's kind of kind of uh, neat. Really uh, drives the uh, point home there. Um, at this point, I start looking because uh, I got to bake a cake. I came here before Fourth of July, and for my church picnic, I decided to bake a cake, and so I was kind of looking for uh, a cake to make. I. I've done one by scratch before. I make a pretty good applesauce raisin cake. Old family recipe. Passed down from my grandmother to my mom, now to me. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I, I do like to bake from now and then. But uh, I didn't want to whip up something from scratch. I figured um, maybe do one um, you know, from a mix, you know. But this time maybe something... Not the normal vanilla or chocolate. I was kind of feeling something different. So I walk around looking, try to see you know what what's out there, and uh, you, know, you got a lot of small appliances here too. A lot of shop rights do. And that's when I got the idea. Let's see where it was. Oh, I went with a pineapple flavored cake. And let me tell you something. When I was mixing the, the batter, it smelled like pineapple. It, they, you know, Duncan Hines did, a, or Betty Crocker, or whatever. Actually, you know, it was Pillsbury. But yeah, they did a good job there. The, the little uh, claymation guy that goes hee hee when you hit his belly button, did a bang up job on the pineapple cake. It tasted really good too. And I got some, uh, yeah, cream, well, buttercream frosting. Yeah, I figured that would kind of go well with it. Of course, we were... Uh, ooh, I like those drinks there. Those uh, um, uh, ice drinks, whatever they call them. Yeah, um, anyway. I'm looking around for different things, you know. I'm, do I want to get candy? Do I want to get, you know, different things? But um, the only problem with my cake I baked was that... Uh, well, we were out under the tent on the church property and it was hot <laughs> this summer has been really hot but uh, it was hot my cake kind of wilted a bit <laughs> but it was it was a tasty mess I'll, I'll i'll still say that well now it's at this point that uh, i was thinking about uh, getting some jalapeno cheddar dogs the johnsonville ones and uh well unfortunately this shop right doesn't carry them. Most shop rights don't. Walmart and Acme both carry them. So that was a little let down, but then again, I'm I'm probably the only weird person on earth that likes those, so there you go. So now I'm 
going back down the uh, aisles here and then that uh, letter there that's been placed in my way the uh, aisles are very easy to navigate and now I'm going to choose what I'm going to uh, bake. I have a had a church 4th of July picnic that I was uh, baking for so uh, got a couple of uh, vanilla buttercream frostings and a pineapple cake mix and uh, that was it for me there and then of course uh, because, because I started a little tradition if you will with the uh, shop right up in Clark, New Jersey. Any non Zaley's shop right, I am going to go to their bakery, Pure Cure, one of their donuts, and I'm going to taste it. Well, purchase it first, of course. I'm going to taste it and see how it compares, how it stacks up against the ones I get at Zaley's. Okay, which one did I pick? There's apple fritters, there's Boston cream, there's Boston long john. Okay, let me get the, the tissue paper in the little bag. Yeah, I've got to get those. And what did I get? <laughs> uh -oh. I'm going to open up. And get a Boston cream. I should have went for the long john instead. I like I like long johns. At least that's what they call them at Zaley's. I don't know what they call them at uh, other shop rights. And then I was going to look for something I could wash it down with. Good or bad, I want to be able to, you know, get a drink while I'm here, too, you know. So I went to the hydration station. <laughs> I like that. I, I like the uh, little uh, names they got for some of these spots here at the store. In fact, uh, we're going to look at a couple more village stores in the near future, and um, we're going to find this is actually a, uh, must be a newer decor package for um, uh, village shop rights because some of the ones I went to uh, don't have this particular decor. So this must have been a re recent remodel. Well, I'm here I checked out the prices on salads. I used to buy a bag of salad and pack a salad for uh, lunch. And I found actually the salad I get um, at Acme is about 50 cents cheaper than ShopRite. Go figure. But uh, yeah, that's it for me now. I'm going to go up and bring my purchases up. and I always try to do the... Uh, self checkouts wherever I can because I don't, I don't want people looking and noticing if I you know if they see my secret camera my hidden camera here and what do I see here I actually found Pepsi Zero um, Mango flavor personal fave of mine that thing is fire Ooh, I love it anyhow run up my purchases and uh, walked out the door and uh Overall, I had a good shopping experience here at this uh, village shop right of Hamilton, New Jersey. And now it's time for me to get back to the car and I'll share some final thoughts and what I think of uh, the uh, village shop right donuts. And how about that? Really a uh, nice looking store. And as you did see in the video, I have a Boston cream. This is not a Zaley's donut. Try to do this one-handed. Not easy to do. Not easy thing. Um, but I am going to. Oh boy, this is okay. Try to do this with one hand. <laughs> Alrighty. So here's the Boston cream from Village Supermarket. Let's see how, how it rates compared to a Zaley's donut. As far as donuts go, it's pretty good. However, if I had a choice between this um, Village Boston Cream and a Boston Cream Donut or Long John from Zaley's, Zaley's is going to inch their way out. 
I mean, it's a good dough now. I'm going to finish the rest of the cores. But overall, I would have to say that uh, Zaley's has the better donut so far. We've already seen it compared uh, well against a uh, ShopRite Stores or corporate-owned ShopRite donut. And now it's compared well to the uh, Village Supermarket donut. Let's see how it does against uh, some other rival uh, ShopRite uh, uh, chains here. Or shop right owners, I should say. Anyway, folks, uh, if you like what you see, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Have a great day. I know I will. And I'll see you in the next video. I can't believe I got in this place.